Oh, guys, Jurassic Cast here. Today we're playing Power Wash Simulator. Square Enix was nice enough to give us copies. So let's go and jump inside of this game. Great news! Finally found a van at your auction under your budget. Don't freak out when you see it. It looks like it's been dredged from the bottom of the lake. But that's a good thing. It's meant no one else bid on it. They missed it. Underneath this hideous layer of gunk is your perfect workhorse. Engine's a dream. No rust. There's even equipment in the back. Just needs a good hosing down and you'll be able to get your business all rolling. You'll certainly earn... Your pressure washing strips getting this thing clean. Start the job. Alright, so first of all, we're definitely going to need to get rid of all this nasty gunk. Clean up the bumper just a little bit. That way the cops can see our license plate. Now it is pretty cool that we're actually able to like get rid of all the dirt and start shining it up just a little bit. Now obviously there's not going to be too much action inside of this game, so this is going to be a little bit more like a reacting sort of just clean, get rid of all the dirt and everything on the vehicles. And it looks like you're actually going to be able to clean like houses and a whole bunch of other stuff too. There was some sort of special thing which we might check out either in this video or possibly in another one later on down the road. Where it looked like it was something on Mars. It looked like it had some sort of like NASA rover or something. So that'd be kind of cool too. Okay, so you can tell when something's fully clean whenever it does that little ding. Watch ya. Now, I don't think we actually have any other options besides this main sprayer. I don't think there's actual soap, so right now it's just obviously the water. But I'm curious to see, like, later on, are we going to be able to get stuff to spray on things to help clean them quicker? Or if it's always going to be this pace to get rid of the dirt on the side of stuff. Alright, so let's see. Get rid of all that nasty gunk. You know what? It's not too bad of a workhorse. Definitely could use a little bit of touching up and, you know, maybe a nice little paint job, something that looks cool. But overall, you know, it gets the job done. All right, so let's see. So we'll get all that stuff done. We didn't get a ding on the side of that side of the door, so I'm assuming we missed something. Let's see, we want to make sure everything up top is all good, nice and cleared. Sweet. Yeah, we did get the ding and I just missed it. I don't think we did on the door, though. Yep, we'll come over to this other side, worry about that in a second, and then we'll come back to that in case we did miss something. So it definitely does make a ding whenever we get an area fully cleared out, so we might have missed a couple things. It might have been in the mirror or something like that, too. Obviously, the front windshield's a little dirty, too. All right, so let's see here. Yeah, it'd be kind of funny rolling up to a client's house with, like, a completely dirt-covered van and acting like we're good at cleaning. All right, so let's see, just getting a little bit more stuff done. It's kind of funny, all these simulators are coming out recently of tasks that most people don't like to do in person, but they're just really popular on video games. There's a removal van outside the Nightmare's Place. They're finally gone. Whoever moves is going to need a quality pressure washer. Okay, so it looks like we got our first job. We're going to finish up the van real quick, though, since we're so close to the end already. Let's see here, so it looks like we've got paid 13 bucks to clean the van. That's not too bad. See, so we'll get rid of that. Boom, got a nice little bumper. There we go. But one thing we didn't necessarily check out is if this van is leaking or not. <laughs> That'd be a bad sign if there's a whole bunch of water inside. Alright, so let's see. Get that all nice and done. Looks like all we got right now is a three-star reward, though. You want to go with that business name, or do you need me to think something up? I'm phenomenal. Thought of Grooting Thomas for that tiller, and she's never looked back. Okay, so it looks like Harper Shaw is like her manager or something. Reflection, Bonnie Tiller might have been a better fit. Yeah, I do like the Bonnie F Tiller one a little bit better. Now, how on earth are we supposed to get onto the roof? Oh, hold on. Yeah, nice! All right, so once we get the roof cleared out, I'm assuming we should get the fifth star on the van because, I mean, it looks relatively clean to me. We got paid 17 bucks so far for washing our own vehicle. Let's see, just trying to get around in the back there. I'm pretty sure we can move the stool if we wanted to, but if we can just, you know, stand at one place and do it, it'll be a little bit quicker. So we'll try our best luck with this. Let's see what we got. All right, there we go. Get it all nice and clean. Looks like we got a couple more spots up top, but that should be relatively good to go. 94% clean. Alright, oh, there we go. 
go. So the windshield's clean all the way down. So I'm guessing all the glass and everything we... Obviously, there's a little bit of dirt and stuff inside of here. So this is probably where it's slowing us down at. There we go. Second one done. All right, so we got all that stuff. It's kind of funny. It seems like the glass definitely takes a little bit more water to fully clean compared to the rest. We're getting a whole bunch of check marks, but it's not actually, you know, counting too much for us. So we can move the stool if we want to. Oh, we didn't even clean out the front grill. Here we go. That's going to be a little bit of a major part. We started with the headlights and we just sort of rolled with it. All right, so let's see. 96% clean. The wheels, I mean, the wheels are kind of dirty. Not too bad, though. What are we missing? You know what? We never cleaned the side rear mirrors. There we go. Alright, so we're at 98. We're slowly starting to get the rest of this stuff done. Both of those done. The roof is fully clear. Side body panels look relatively clean. Bumpers done. So we're at 99% clean. There's a little bit of dirt on the side of this little front grill here that we missed. I wonder where the last bit is, though. I tried to wash, like, down here. Even if we, like, go prone. Is it the tire? Ew, hold on here. We might be onto something now. <laughs> okay, so definitely going prone is going to help find some of the dirt around here. There we go. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Every time we hear that little ding, it's good news. All right, so that should be all the tires done. Oh, we did it. To do bumper, grill, and hubcap. Okay, so we actually have like a little job listing. So it says the bonnet's clean, the bumper's one out of two. So one of the bumpers has a piece of dirt or something somewhere on it. So we're going to try to come in here and inspect it. That one looks completely clean to me, so it must be the one in the front. Let's see, so we can get around over here. Yeah, I'm with you now. Now it's kind of funny because we have been focusing a lot on plastics and stuff, but it doesn't seem like it's necessarily getting... There we go. The check mark. All right, so the grill has got another ch thing that we need to clean, so let's see. And for the time being, if you guys are curious, it looks like we're only going to be able to use the pressure washer. There's no, like, soap or anything like that. All right, so that's good. And the hubcaps. Nailed it. Is this the ex... Is this the extraordinary Dr. Power washer? I got details from your friend, Harper. I could really use a hand. The van looks fantastic. Told you it'd be fine under the grime. I pinged you $100 left from what you gave me, so that should help you off the ground. Also, meet my new neighbor over the fence. Grumbling about his dirty something or another. Okay, so this is like a little quick rundown. Is that actually how we did it? That kind of looks like us. That's kind of cool. I didn't realize that it was actually recording us. It's kind of weird that the uh, stool there is not there. Collect. Go over to the garden. Hey, Doc. I hope you like a challenge because I'm pretty sure I've got the dirtiest backyard you ever done seen. That's not me bragging, by the way. I had nothing to do with it. I've just moved back from town and it's just to help my folks who were down on their last knee and Richard what I thought was a great little place. Should have questioned why there weren't any garden pictures in the ad. They must have bred rhinos here or something. Anyway, my girls are itching to get back there, and I don't want them still itching when they get back inside. So please, do your thing. 400 bucks. Sure, we can do that. Alright. Let's see. So we want to start with the doghouse, obviously. That is a little covered in dirt. But enough, my first girlfriend, Florine Perez, used to live back here in the day. Those were good times. Sir, I'm just trying to work. I don't want to know about your day like that. So let's see. Gets everything like that all nice and clean. Let's see, so we got like a little tablet check marker. So if you guys notice like the little line in the top corner there, you can sort of see what the percentage of the doghouse is clean. That way, you know, if you like fully finish it or not. I know when we get relatively close to it, then we <laughs> move on to something else. So it looks mostly clean, but obviously there's a couple spots and stuff that we can miss. 
In which case, we don't get the full 100% satisfaction. Alright, so let's see. Get the bowl all nice and clean. Now, it looks like it's saying there's a piece of dirt somewhere around here. Yep, we'll come back to that. Let's at least clear the ground. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't even realize it was supposed to be a different color. Alright. So, their backyard might be a little dirty. Let's see, so we get all this stuff nice and clean. And if you guys are curious, if you do happen to have someone to play this game with you, they actually have released multiplayer. Which is actually quite interesting. And so let's see, so we'll get all that stuff done. So I'm pretty sure you have to play the level single player first. I could be wrong with that part. But after that, you're able to bring your friend into the world. And if I'm understanding the way they had it listed, I think each player needs to own a copy of the game too. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I will try to update the description down below just so you guys are aware. All right, so let's see. We'll get done with this second job, and that'll probably be it for today's video. And we did actually change up the music a little bit in this one. Let's try to do a little bit more like a relaxing holiday-ish sort of thing in music. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. All right, so let's see. So we'll get all the dirt clean. So we're supposed to get 400 bucks. I'm wondering if we're able to finish the job earlier, or if it has to be 100% before we, you know, claim it. So they're like some similar games like uh, House Flipper, for example, you can sort of get kind of close to it and then you can just take, you know, less payment if you wanted to, or you can sit there and get the whole 100% every single time. That'd be kind of cool if you could get like 99% if you just couldn't find something. I'm also wondering if we're going to be able to get any perks later on to help us find like some of the smaller dirt spots that we missed. In the tutorial, it sort of helped us out, but I'm wondering if it's always going to be that nice. And so let's see, just getting everything nice and clean. Start with the fences, because this is probably going to be the easiest. Then we got the flooring. I think the grass and everything looks too bad, so that's a good sign, at least. Probably is just the main porch area that's having the majority of the dirt. All right, so let's see. So we'll get all this fun stuff taken out, and then we'll be able to move on to the next one. It's kind of weird. Video games make a lot of the day-to-day -day task in real life a lot more entertaining. This is definitely not. <laughs> I don't find doing this stuff enjoyable in real life, but it's actually not too bad in a game. I think we missed a couple spots, but you know what? We're just going to keep on rolling with the fence here. So I think that last section actually counted the entire thing. So if we can like sort of stand off to the side, just trying to get a little bit of like the water sprayed on the dirt areas that we don't have to go over like every single spot, we should be good. So it looks like there is a little bit of like a splash from the pressure washer and that is technically cleaning up the sides of the wood too. So that's pretty cool. All right, so let's see, just getting a little bit more. Boom, so the post is now cleaned. 13% done. So we'll just run back and forth with the patio here, make sure it gets nice and clean. They'll be good to go. I wonder what they actually did do in the previous family. In like this little pond area, are we supposed to have that full or is that just supposed to be empty like that? So that'd be cool if we could actually like, you know, put fish and everything back in here or have it as a kid bloom. I'm not exactly sure what this was originally designed for. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, what do you guys think of the game so far? I'm saying it might be kind of cool to have a couple games like this on the channel for like late night viewing and stuff. Something that's, you know, like not too complicated. Alright, so let's see. Get all that stuff done. And we should be back on the live streaming schedule by Monday. Sorry about the breaking content that we've been doing for the live streams swap jobs and everything in real life and just trying to get adjusted to the new schedule but hopefully by next monday we'll have everything rolling again and we'll start live streaming arc survival evolved and dark souls see so let's go and wash that all that out which is why i went ahead and did that video yesterday on showing how to have like the death counter and everything set up because i think that'll be pretty cool for those streams especially on games where it's not like it's a too competitive style game but games where you know 
you have enough time to actually change the death counter. I think that would be perfect in that sort of setting. Even an arc, if you die from like a T-Rex or something, it will give you plenty of time to click the button. Alright, so let's see, get all that done. And if you guys want to join the ARC server, by the way, it is set up for Xbox One and Windows 10 PC for the one we have set up. I have it boosted rates. Basically, you guys will be able to see a little bit of what all has changed, but a lot of like the crafting things and stuff like that, we've actually changed the requirements to craft, taming speeds increased, weight. It's not like it's we're too godly powerful, but it's a bit of both. What's up? Do you like bikes? I could deal with someone running the thing over my deadbeat dirt bike. So I would climb all over the rock garden all day, pretending we were rumbling in Mount Rushless, and the pond was the crater. Okay, so it was supposed to be a pond. I wasn't sure if it was supposed to be like a little, like a fancy kiddie pool, or if it was supposed to be like a koi pond kind of deal. I had no idea how the fish being there, though. Alright, so let's see. Just getting that into stiff finished, and we'll be good to go. So the stairs are looking a lot cleaner. See, so we got all that done. Moving on up to the next step. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm wondering if we'll ever be able to get other cleaning items or if this is going to be the main pressure washer we get. It'd be kind of cool if this game... It's an early access too, if you guys are curious. But it'd be cool if you could maybe like buy an upgraded pressure washer that's a little bit stronger. That way it just gets the jobs done quicker. So I know if we click E, there's actually like different nozzles and stuff. So clearly we can upgrade some stuff. I'm just not sure how much of the upgrade system we can actually go into detail with. And so let's see, get rid of all that dirt and then we can worry about the pond that the guy was talking about. And some areas are going to be attached to bigger areas. So basically we're not going to be able to get a check mark on that top stair since it's got like the whole area encompassed, but we'll eventually get there in a second. We got 23% clean, so we're getting relatively close to finishing up. Let's see here. I didn't even think about the back of the fence. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't sit there and spin forever on the front because that could have been horrible. second pond done and we're actually going to be coming back into this at a later time if you guys enjoyed make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one